I'm Sam Armstrong, and in this video, I'll be sharing some practice advice for this year's SYF set piece, Tana di Bawa Angin by Wong Ka Chun. Joining me is Jasper Tan on the bass trombone. So the opening of this piece is probably the most challenging part for the trombone section, and that is because of the chromatic scale. I will encourage you to practice first from F to C in a chromatic scale. That is every note between F and C, the chromatic scale, something that you should play in every octave and starting from different notes. Then we'll do a simplified version of the opening, leaving out the quavers. And under tempo, with a metronome, I add the quavers, making sure that I line up on time on the half notes and play with great time and great sound. And one more word of advice. A lot of your practice can be done without buzzing. So just focus on the slide, use the air, and play in this manner. Now I hear the air and I'm focusing well on just moving the slide in time and accurately. And hopefully that will help you execute this passage right at the beginning. Hi, my name is Jasper Tan and now I'll give you some tips on learning the passage at letter C. So the most important part about this passage is to think of it like a melody with arcs and to shape your phrases. And the trick here is actually to play two words, the accents. And I would advise you and your section to sing this melody together. So for example, Okay, if you can unify your singing, it's more likely that you can play it together as a section. The next thing is actually to stay in time, especially through the long notes. And the trick here is, while you're singing, you actually clap on the downbeats that you are tied over or resting. For example, Okay, practice this and your time should get better. And the last tip is to pay attention to the differences in the articulation. And for me, I like to use the mouthpiece for this. You would blow against the back of the, of the mouthpiece stem here, okay? I'll show you. Take note to always keep the air moving. You do not want one airstream per note, like Okay, keep the air moving, but use your tongue to articulate. Okay, so now Sam and I will demonstrate the passage for you. As a technical exercise, I would like for you to practice every day playing as soft as you can and as loud as you can. This is to ensure that the piano dynamic that we need in band is easy to access and our forte is a piece of cake. So I do this by 
beginning pianissimo and crescendoing to fortissimo, breathing and doing the opposite. I'll demonstrate that. And you can choose any note you like. Try to be as extreme as possible so that the dynamics in this set piece are well within your grasp. Next, I'd like to talk to you about all of the offbeats in this piece. It's very important that you don't breathe too often. So very often, if you're playing offbeats, you might go and suddenly you have too much air. So I encourage you to use your metronome, start by playing on the beat, very simply, and switch to off beat. Notice how I only took one breath and I didn't let the off beats affect the way I play. It's easy to get a little bit overthinking and tense when we play those offbeats. But simplify this by working well with your metronome and imagining that you're playing the bass trombone part together. Now I would like to talk about the passage at letter H where we have the melody as a section. So um, we would want to play this passage in a very singing style. And in order to practice this, I recommend you to practice with glissando so that your sound carries over all the way, for example. to do after that is to place the tongue where you need to and then you get a very nice singing legato style here. The second trick, since the entire section is playing this together, what will make the band sound really great is if we can stagger the breaths so that we do not have a big hole at the end of each, at the end of each small phrase. So it won't be What we would do is the conductor or the section leader can assign people to take the unmusical breaths. So for example, what we would do is to play so that we can let like the section leader play the, the musical phrase. And the end result of that is that the band would sound like it has one really, really long phrase, which the audience would really love to hear. Sam and I will demonstrate this. We hope you found these tips helpful and we encourage you to share them with your classmates. Have a great SYF season. <laughs>